The main benefits we see with the performance of SAP on AWS is the agility the platform gives us because almost all of our business processes are run on that platform. My name is Brendan O'Neill. I'm the Director of IT Services for Seco Global. We are one of the largest container leasing companies in the world. We have a fleet of 1.6 million containers. We have staff of 230 people in 18 offices serving customers in 80 countries around the world. The reason we decided to look at cloud was mainly because our uh, infrastructure was aging and we needed to reinvest in that infrastructure. So things we looked at were um, converged infrastructure, um, private, public cloud and um, or refreshing the infrastructure as it was. To manage the SAP migration process we began by raising an RFP, a request for a proposal and inviting several vendors to, um, to bid for the, the project work and it was run then in, um, in tandem with Lemongrass and, and an internal team and they were recommending that we use AWS as the platform for the migration. They were also um, responsible for the project management of the transition to AWS. The reason we decided to use AWS was because they have a presence in Singapore. In addition, they have a very feature-rich cloud, and we saw that we would be able to get an awful lot of agility using their services. SAP is, is critical for SECO. We use quite a few modules of SAP. We use ECC, CRM, Enterprise Portal, NetWeaver Gateway, business intelligence and exchange infrastructure. From a performance perspective, we saw some very impressive results once we were running SAP on AWS. Um, our batch processes were running about 70% faster. Some of our end user response times were uh, running at almost 90% faster. And our month in billing cycle was taking 70% less time. The AWS services that SECO use are predominantly EC2. We have about 150 EC2 instances. The majority of them are tenanted here in Singapore, and we do also have some in Europe as well. We use EC2 on-demand instances for projects and also for our month-end billing process when we scale the environment up to, to um, cope with the additional workload for that period. We also use S3. Um, we use some RDS databases and we have three VPCs built to support the environment as well. One of the other things that we've been able to do on AWS is change how we do disaster recovery. We previously had a process where we would recover the systems from backup, and that process could take up to 72 hours. Since we've moved to AWS, we've been able to reduce that time to three hours, and also reduce the return point objective to less than a few minutes. Since moving to AWS, we've seen a drastic reduction in our hosting costs. And um, between 2014 and 2016, we expect to see a 50% savings in those. 